Welcome to our lecture online. Let's assume that we have a particle that started over here at a distance where x equals 0 and y equals 100 meters above the origin and it's moving to the right at 20 meters per second. At some point in time it reaches a point where the coordinates are 85 meters in the x direction and 100 meters in the y direction and the question is what is the angle between the vertical axis and the vector pointing to the particle where it is now? and we're supposed to use the dot product to figure it out. So the best thing to do is to define two vectors. Let's define the vector A and let's define the vector B. So the B vector is really the position vector where the particle is now and the A vector is the position vector where the particle was when it started. So what we can do now is write that the dot product A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them which means that cosine of theta is equal to the dot product a dot b divided by a times b which is the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b and then of course we take the inverse cosine of that but we first going to write this as follows this can be written as the cosine of theta is equal to ax bx plus ay by, we only have to go for the first two dimensions because we don't have any z components, all divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. And therefore, theta becomes the inverse cosine of the quantity ax bx plus ay by, all divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. All right, let's now define our vectors. We could then say that vector a can be defined as being 0 in the i direction plus 100 in the j direction. With vector b, we can define vector b as being 85 in the i direction plus 100 in the j direction. We can then define the magnitude of a as simply equal to 100, but the magnitude of b is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So this would be 85 squared plus 100 squared, so therefore b is going to be equal to, so we have 10,000 plus 85 squared, take the square root and it will be 131.244, 131.244, I'm keeping some extra insignificant figures just so I don't have a rounding error. So now I have the magnitude of a, the magnitude of b, and the two vectors defined in the x and y components. I'm now ready to plug that in here. So theta is equal to the inverse cosine of a sub x, which is 0, times b sub x, which is 85, plus a sub y, which is 100, b sub y, which is 100, all divided by 100 times 131 0.244. Now notice that this is 0. This 100 cancels out this 100, so it's basically the inverse cosine of 100 divided by 131. Realizing that that is a number less than 1, that is good because we cannot take the inverse cosine of a number greater than 1. We probably made a mistake somewhere if it was greater than 1. So 100 divided by 131.244, take the inverse cosine, and we get 40.36 degrees. Theta equals 40.36 degrees, and that's how we find the angle between those two vectors, and that is how it's done.